Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, we're gonna start with your favorite, love, right? Um, we're gonna start with love, what the love messages are. How it's gonna go is what the situation is for you in love, the advice, and then the outcome if you take the advice of the cards, okay? So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for us. A lot of people could be resurfacing. Um, loved ones, romantic partners, just people all, all together. They could be resurfacing in your life. They, they I, Okay, so it's like, I don't know, it's like the universe, the God, spirit, whatever you believe in, is setting the stage for these people to come back and see you in all your splendor and all your glory in everything being restored to you if there was loss there. Uh, these people are supposed to see you shining, okay? These are people who counted you out, um, who may have even kicked you when you were down or maybe have even prayed on your for your downfall. So um, it looks like these people are coming back because they're supposed to be here to see this. And this is you, okay? All right, so let's see, Aquarius. What's going on for love? Love messages. All right, the Ace of Cups. All right, so you got new friendship, new love, just a new lease on life. Maybe you just, you, you feel good. This also could be a makeover. You're doing something, um, maybe even being emotional about maybe your appearance or just putting some more thought, some more energy into your appearance here. This also could be renewal, renewal of youth of how you look. This also could be like some serums, some beauty ritual routine that you do. Um, you know, it's just restoring you from the outside in, but or from the inside out. This also could be spirit restoring you from the inside out. And then you also are now taking care of the outside by way of, you know, maintaining your appearance, your look. You're very vibrant. Okay. It also could be new love, you know, a uh, new friendship, new love. It's just a new start here. The relationship can be very promising. Maybe you found chemistry there for, you know, in some sort. It, it feels like friend though. I don't know if this person is going to be your friend first or they are your friend. Let's see what the advice, what's the advice for Aquarius for love? Six of swords. All right, Aquarius this is his second deacon Aquarius. So January 24th through February 8th, I believe. Don't quote me, but just look it up. Google second deacon Aquarius. Um, so the truth is move forward, move forward. Don't go back. Leave those old sabotaging or self-sabotaging ways in the past Aquarius. Move forward. You're tempted to look back with the six of swords coming up as your advice here, but it says just move forward, you know, going backwards and trying to restore or regain or reignite. It's just not for you. Um, it's also saying that you need to leave and maybe even heal. Cause you got that caduceus showing up heal from previous relationships, the hurt from previous relationships makes sense of moving on. Just doesn't it, isn't it more rational? Isn't it logical to move on? What are you going back to? So that's how you make sense of moving on. Ask, asking yourself all these questions, you know? The Six of Swords also says that um, things can just be simpler, peaceful, you know, if you allow it, if you just move forward, if you, you know, if you don't go backwards. This is also like a moving on, but it's not a, you know, this loud, um, statement or a public announcement to everybody that you're moving on and it's just more so just gathering yourself gathering your energy re making resolve within yourself first in your mind and then moving on so that's it's, it's that's really good and you're going to find peace balance harmony once you do so but as long as you stay stuck or you try to go back then you know what you're going to get because you already been there right Let's see, what is the outcome if Aquarius takes the advice of the cards? The King of Swords, okay, very nice. So it looks like you 
get so the king of swords says make your heart a head over heart decision this could even be seeing the truth of a matter uh this is clarity of thought your thought pattern being even clear this is strategy this is ambition this is moving forward um this is also having high standards you know and when when you do it maybe enter the dating market or re-enter your standards will be changed and you're not going to, just going to settle for anything so this looks really good aquarius it also says um in the king of swords um some of you are going to be very wise if this is an eagle here you might even find somebody that you may mate with for the duration of your life because the eagles they mate for life the bald eagle anyway Unless, you know, of course, one of them unfortunately passes, but they mate for life. So this says if you move on, you can have a real partner, maybe Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Capricorn. It could be anybody. Let's clarify now. What's the Ace of Cups for Aquarius? It's the Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords. Um... Somebody could be using strategy with you in terms of how much they like you. Uh, maybe about trying to get out of or get out of the friend zone. What is this about? The Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Six of Swords. <laughs> Do you have some strategy about moving forward maybe with this relationship? Or this new found, this new lease on life? There's also, as I mentioned before, I started to read. There's a lot of people trying to come back. So the Seven of Swords could be people, several different people, one particular person trying to sneak back. Somebody's always going backwards. Okay, so there could be several people trying to come back to you, Aquarius. It says move on again. You got the Six of Swords twice now. And then uh, with the Ace of Cups and the, and the Seven of uh, Swords, um, keep your relationship to yourself. Oh, okay. So remember, I, I said, um, like, this is a quiet moving on. You know, it's not a public announcement. So the cards are saying, look, whomever you're dating, it doesn't need to be announced. Everybody doesn't need to meet your family. They don't need to meet your dog. They don't need to meet your social media family by way of pictures and all this stuff. Keep your relationship to yourself because, um, you know, it's still new. Ace of Cups here. Keep your relationship to yourself. And just move on in silence kind of move on you know with peace with with ease take the road with least resistance you know and causing all of these different i know all these different problems for yourself by trying to be so public which you're moving on and finding somebody new it's just gonna it's gonna cause the problems that you know are gonna come for you also says stop looking backwards you got something new here stop looking backwards it's done what is the six of sword nine of cups very nice so find emotional stability by yourself in yourself with yourself the nine of cups here you can have wish fulfillment you can have um I don't know, some of you just gonna really just um, put a lot of time, energy, effort into yourself, maybe even luxury items or, you know, just um, really pampering yourself here. That looks really good. Also, you know, if you move forward, you can get what you hoped, wished, prayed for, but only if you move forward. And then this moving forward is a mental moving forward. You got all of these swords cards. So it says that this previous relationship was a test, a trial, you know, and it's about passing the test and moving forward. And then also it says that, um, yeah, it says that this was a test. This is a trial here. Let's see. You could have thought this was a twin flame. It could have been a twin flame you were dealing with. It could have been a false flame. What is the King of Cups in the outcome? Excuse me. The, okay, the King of Cups, the King of Sword in the outcome. The Hangman. All right. So, um, 
again, back to what we were saying, making sense of moving on. Um, you'll be able to release maybe some of that. The hangman and the king of swords and the outcome. What you may have wanted in a person has been here all along for you. It was just hanging around. It was for you to take or take to it. Maybe you didn't see it or you didn't want to see it or you didn't want that person. You wanted another person. If you move on, you're going to get clarity of thought in the King of Swords and then everything is going to make sense. If you move on and do nothing, be at complete inertia, not having your hands all in the pot and trying to manipulate this and do this and do that. The things will make sense to you. There'll be a lot of clarity with the hanged man here. It says that um, enlightenment of the part that you've played maybe in a, a relationship, a secret relationship where you didn't get what you wanted. You had to kind of move on in shame because it didn't turn out the way you thought it would turn out. You didn't get, you didn't get to win or you didn't get chosen. Therefore you had to choose to move on. Again, a test, a trial. That's what this relationship was or is. Some of these people had you like in secret relationships or had you as like the other woman, other man. If you just choose to really just move the hell on Aquarius, then it looks like here with the hangman and the king of swords, this is going to make sense to you as to why you stayed so long and why you wouldn't sacrifice this or why you didn't want to sacrifice it, why you didn't want to let it go. And it's really going to make sense to you as to again, what part you played in this because you had to be a willing participant at some time. Therefore, you can't be a victim and a participant. So, right. Okay, this card wanna come out. It's a good idea. It's a good idea to move on. You're gonna see that maybe this wasn't a good idea to stay. Yeah, you might even tell somebody, don't talk to me anymore because now you get it. Some enlightenment came to you, okay? Let's see. Wow, you will get some understanding, Aquarius. You'll get some overstanding. Maybe that somebody's just way too immature. And they can never give you or be what you need them to be. It's just that you hung around too long. What is this about? What is this about? You kept putting passion, time, effort into something. Yeah, gossip about you. You could be the center of gossip now because you're looking good. You're just doing your own thing. You could get a new house. You could be moving. You could be keeping this on the low. People are gossiping about you. Again, back to that. People wanting to resurface in your life. And it's because you're, you're a magnet. You're attracting the things that you want in your life with the Queen of Wands here. As I say that, the Three of Wands. Wow. And then the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you're becoming the perfect catch, the perfect lady, the perfect man. It's just all coming back to you. It's like you're going to be center stage here. And these people are, are here to watch. Let's see what else is going on for you. Okay. Something about um, drunk sex. I don't know if that's what you're having or that's what you had with this particular person or they're having this now. You think somebody is handsome, so now you just kind of engage. Domination. I don't know if somebody's trying to get you drunk and have sex with you and take, you know, get you drunk and have their way with you, dominate you. If this is the plan that somebody has to maybe get you back, this could be this because the seven of swords can also talk about strategy and plan. Let's see. You may have like 
cut it short with somebody or I can't talk after 8 p.m. Sorry. Or maybe you realize that you were like in a relationship where you were the other person. You were in a secret relationship. You always had to wait around for them and hang around for them and wait. It was, you know, the ball was always in their court. It was just, you know, you knew that something was up. Maybe this is why you stayed with somebody so long. Money was holding you back or money was holding them back is why they stayed so long. Somebody could be divorcing though. Cause I don't know if something is broken. Trust is broken. Somebody again, this clear skin. I see that in the Ace of Cups too. Like some of you guys have, not only are you getting clarity of the mind, but you're getting of the body too. Like everything's that is just coming to you clearly. It's coming to you like, you know, white you could be caucasian but it something about it being maybe you're coming out of black darkness to white to see you know like something's becoming clear especially during the healing process with this blue maybe that your true nature you, it was becoming clear to you is that you're an earth angel maybe you were put in this situation this relationship to perfect you or to per perfect something about you to learn about yourself again a test a trial it was i don't know to to try you to strengthen you so that you could be stronger you can get through these i don't know I'm Aquarius. this is like you know maybe you were put with this person or paired with them so that you can truly understand your nature, your real nature. Because it's like you were in a fog and not even understanding your your potential. Yeah, so you had to come into understanding what you were deserving of. Could even make you angry once you realize that you stayed in something so long. Christmas is coming up. I don't know if the relationship started back up this past Christmas or something happened around Christmas or something will happen Christmas 2022. I'm not sure. By Christmas, you could have a lot of growth and you could be comfortable, whatever comfortable means to you. And it looks like, again, as we talked about, somebody's going to want you back. I dumped you now. I want you back. Please forgive me. They just see that is beneficial for them because you're loving you're smart and they want you to say yes there could have been no communication between you and this person in March nothing new started between you and this person what is the advice for Aquarius last well what is this person that Aquarius, that the person that uh, wants Aquarius back. What are they? What is this person about? So the magician, they're they coming up with a plan, thinking of a master plan. What they'll say, how they'll do it, how they'll come off. The magician is the salesman. This could be Virgo. It could be Gemini. It could be anybody here, though. A powerful man. It says man because when you're in that magician energy, you're thinking. And any time that crown chakra is activated, it's masculine energy. But this could be a woman. This person could be trying to save a marriage or get married to you. This person wants to be around you. They want to make something official or they want to bring it back to how it used to be, the status quo. They want things to happen quickly. It's like they want you to be infatuated with them, you know, sexually, physically, every way. This person wants to state their intentions, but, you know, intentions are just intentions, right? There could be a level of obsession with you, yeah. This person really wants, the, I don't know if they want to move back in or move back with you or move or make some move. 
Yeah, they would definitely want to reconcile with you, Aquarius. Get back on the right path. And they want healing and forgiveness and compassion and, you know, all of those things. This could be a lot of people coming around you. Also, seeing you get that shine that you deserve. In the zodiac, the star or the Aquarius is the angel. And we had earth angel come out. So it's like you, you also coming into a place of enlightenment about your true nature. Your, I don't pass life na nature or just where you come from. I don't know if it's like, d you know, digging into, um, Realizing that you're a star seed, you're of the Anunnaki. I don't know. Just going backwards and really trying to pinpoint things for yourself. Well, yeah, this person definitely wants you back. They want you back quick. Just seems like it's all out of desire. And it's going to be a lot of them trying to sell themselves. So if somebody has to sell themselves to you, that means... Um, you know, it's a bit of persuasion there. And if you have to be persuaded in regards to this particular person, then that means you either have other people you can go to, you have other options, or there's, you know that there's red flags or there's some particular issue that um, you need to be comfortable with. It's funny that came out, comfortable. So this person has to make you comfortable knowing that maybe something has changed with them. Yeah, because right now it's a period of you guys not interacting. No activity right now. But they don't think it's over. Or maybe you don't think it's over. Maybe it's mutual. But somebody's gonna show somebody that it's over. It's over, over, 10 of swords. This is gonna be great devastation for maybe someone you had children with, you had a lot, a lot was lost. There was a lot of time put into this. You thought the relationship would grow. Someone who you are taking a passive approach with right now, and maybe they're doing the same. They could be frustrated right now with maybe the lack of communication they're learning some tough lesson and so are you. But I think once you learn this Aquarius, the curse, the, the spell is broken. The devastation ends for you and it just begins for somebody else. Whoa. Looks like you get somebody else Aquarius. Or you have somebody else. There's another destined meeting here. Wow. Yeah. Nine of cups with the three of pentacles. Yeah. Oh, and the eight of pentacles. This is somebody you're going to marry. Back to something about mating for life. This is somebody that you're going to work well with. It's just going to fucking work. Like, it's just going to work. You know, like, it's not going to be hard work. It's not going to be labored. You, you could be getting married for the second time in life or for the first time, but it's a marriage later in life with the eight of pentacles and it you got two cards of work and working like it's just gonna work Aquarius you you um if you are still pining over this past person and waiting and it looks like maybe they're waiting I don't know you could be waiting too you need to get to a place of letting go. Let's see. What are we going to tell Aquarius? Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you want. So like get out there. Paint the picture you want for yourself. Never give up on something you really want. If it's love, if it's a particular person. Um, if it's a husband or a wife, 
Yeah, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear and the hottest love has the coldest end. So yeah, it's like a lot of passion. As we talked about previously with this other relationship, now it's ending or it has ended because the passion can keep it forever, keep it alive forever. So it just had this cold end to it and it's okay because you are moving on to a steady and reliable path very nice that's why it's okay it's okay because you're sacrificing this you're letting it go again the hangman it's just cool. it's all gonna make sense to you like for some of you I don't know what your lesson is or what it is you needed to learn in terms of dealing with a particular person that you dealt with but it also could be for some of you learn when to hold them learn when to fold them let go and you have a hard time letting go and you just kept showing up for something, thinking that it would change, and you kept dealing, and you kept maybe even twisted and turning and uh, trying to make something work to the point where you would hang yourself upside down. You would, you know, contort yourself to make this work. You would tie yourself in knots, and you would scale back, and you walk on eggshells, and who the fuck wants to live like that? That's crazy just to continue just to hold on to this toxic relationship or this stuck or stagnant relationship that was going nowhere that had no growth because the other person was dominating and holding the relationship at a particular level anyway and this is what you are holding on to and it's like the universe wants you to see that about yourself so now when you go into a new relationship you don't take that old self-sabotaging energy with you. You learn from the past, you learn the lesson and you move forward. It's not gonna be, oh, I stick around and I just try to make everything work and I, and I tie myself in a bow tie so that this other person is happy and comfortable and I'm miserable, but I'm still here. You, you can't do that. It doesn't work like that. And you have to see that sometimes you just gotta let go. And you kept trying to make things work that just wasn't going to work in it in the first place. You saw many red flags, but you just kept going. You kept blowing right past the flags. And it was just like, at this point, you're creating this, this monster of a relationship for yourself. You're creating the, the monster. Now it's time for you to walk away. You got a lot of dreams. You got a hope. You got a lot of... You have somebody new coming in. They could be younger than you. This person just thinks you are just super, super wise. Sexy also. They could want to have sex with you. Yeah, definitely. They want to date you. They love talking to you. They feel like this relationship is going to be mutually beneficial. And you're just really sexy. You have a great body. And they just feel like you're the perfect catch. So you got something. You're moving on to a steady and reliable path. You got something on the other side of this. Because. you. I mean you do. But you need to let this other thing go. And just really resolve it within your mind. Because you're not over it. No matter how much you want to tell yourself you are. Something is holding you there. But it's like it's getting faint. And, and more faint by the day, but it's still there. All right, let's see what the cards have to say for a career in finance. Yeah, you need to put this out of your mind, that relationship. Career in finance for Aquarius. All right, let's see. Career finance. Launch. So you need to launch whatever it is you're you're wanting to do. Now is the time. It's something that maybe you tried to do in the past or something that maybe is going to resurface for you. Wow, marketing and launch. So you need to have a, a marketing plan. Get more visible, more visibility on whatever it is you do or you're going to do. But you need to have a launch date and have some type of marketing ploy or plan. You need to, you know, 
You need to know how you're going to get it out there to the people, how people will find you, your service, your product. Let's see. You could work in marketing. Let's see. Trust your gut. Your body knows the truth, okay? So trust your gut. Trust your intuition is high. You have the high priestess come out. Trust your intuition, Aquarius. Let's see. Lastly, manifestation. You are a manifesting machine. Yeah, some of you just like instantly think of it and you get right on it and you get in the energy of alignment and that thing just comes into fruition. Yeah, um, so integration time, plan to rest. So as you plan your month, your months out, your, you know, you make your agenda. I don't know how far you go out in terms of planning your work life, but you also need to make time for rest and relaxation and recuperation. So you need to plan to rest. Okay, Aquarius. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can come for the collective reading. I do, um, I answer questions if you have questions also. Um, I'm not gonna do any other sign than a queer well I want to do a collective reading and I'll put it out once a week but it's really not it's not um, it's not in my best interest to do an individual video for every one of the 12 zodiac signs except for Aquarius so I'm not going to do that anymore and there will be a collective reading it will go from Aries to Pisces for the week and um i hope that you get messages from that but um, that's what i have for you guys all right so again get your own personal readings take care many blessings to you bye